Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In previous video, we have demonstrated how to send HTTPS GET and POST request using LabCurl libraries. In this short video, it will discuss how to use LabCurl to perform file transfer, download, or upload. It is one of another popular usage of LabCurve libraries. As we know, LabCurve is a multi-protocol file transfer library. It supports FTP and SFTP protocols. SFTP stands for Secure File Transfer Protocol or SSH File Transfer Protocols. In computing, the SSH file transfer protocol, also known as the Secure File Transfer Protocol, or SFTP, is a network protocol provide file access or transfer and file management over any reliable data streams. It was designed by Internet Engineer Task Force, IETF, as an extension of the Secure Shell Protocol, SSH. The example of this video, we will write a C++ program using LabCurve to perform SFTP transfer file between client and SFTP server. Here on Linux, we create a two C++ programmer, curve sftp download.cpp, curve sftp upload.cpp. Curve sftp download.cpp will download a file from sftp server. Curve sftp upload.cpp will upload a local file to sftp server. Lab curve URL format for SFTP will be SFTP colon slash slash username, password, server IP, and from the file. To execute SFTP download, it requires server IP, login ID, password, from file, and to file. From file is on SFTP server, to file is a local file. Usage will be for argument. Server IP, login ID from file and two files. The password will be securely keyed in from the screen. In order to input a password from screen, we first declare a password buffer. Memory set our password buffer. Use sh get path function. Input a password from screen right into my path. After successfully input the password, we will build URL stream. SFTP colon slash slash username from argument 2, password input from screen, server IP from argument 1, and from file from the argument 3. The pattern of using LabCurve easy interface where instantialize glob LabCurve object and uh, instantialize easy interface get the handle. If successfully, we will upload the file. Finish upload the file, clean the glob object allocated memory and return success. After successfully get an easy interface handle, step one, set up URL and the default protocol. Step two, will set up error buffer. Step 3, set up a callback writing function. And set up a callback writing data. If argument count equal 5, it means the two file is provided from the argument 4. Otherwise, from argument 3. 
after setup callback writing function and the callback writing receive date will perform the request. Return code is RC. If a return code is not OK, print out curl easy perform not OK and the return code description. Finish perform will clean the glob, initialize allocated memory, and return the success. For the callback writing function, since we download, will be write file from the server to the local. So we use the file writing function. We open file for writing. And then we close the file. We save our program. We go to the next program, upload local file to SFTP server. The pattern of a lab curve URL format will be the SFTP, username, password, server IP, and two files. To execute SFTP upload, it requires a server IP, login ID, password, from file, and to file. From file is a local file, and to file is the SFTP server file name. Usage have four argument. Password will be securely keyed in from the screen. Same as the previous program, we created the memory for password. Memory set our password memory using the sh get pass function. Get the password from screen, set up a URL, and upload the file. Before SFTP upload the file, it requires the upload the file size. So we create a simple function to get the file size. In this function, open the file using ftel to tell the size of the file and close the file. If a file size less than zero, print out empty file. Same as the previous program, we instantialize glob lab curve object. We instantialize easy interface, get the handle. If a handle success, set a URL, default protocol, set up error message, set up read functions. In order to save typing, we just copy paste from the previous program. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We copy seven lines here. We go back to our program. We paste here. After set up error message, we set up upload callback read function and the callback read date. Load is true. Callback read function, we name it the read callback. Callback read date from the argument 3, which is the from file. File size. After set up a callback read date and the read function, we are going to set up a callback writing function and the writing date. The function we name is the write callback and the write date. It's a receiving buffer. Next step will be to perform the request. If return code is not OK, 
print out the error message. Finish, we clean the glob allocated memory and return success. For the read callback function, we name it the read callback. Parameter will be the in, PTR, size, number of blocks, and the file name. This function will open a file for reading. If open file success, using the fread to read the file into the in PTR and close the files. Now we save our program. We compile our program. So our program has been compiled successfully. To test our example, we use two Linux server. On the top terminal, it's the Debian Linux. IP address is 192.168.0.101. And there's a file on the server called mydebintest.txt. This file is a simple text file. This is a Hui test SFTP from Debian server line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bottom terminal is a client. It's a Ubuntu Linux. And the IP address is 192.168.0.111. Currently, there's no txt file under my directory. The usage, IP address, login ID from file, which is home my typing tester.txt to file, is right. So we input the password. Now we file get transferred. So now file is downloaded. This is Hui test SFTP from Debian server line 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the file is on the server. It's exactly the same file we downloaded. Now we try modify this file. Just to make a simple change. Debian, Ubuntu. Then we try to upload this file to SFTP server. Upload usage will be server so IP, login ID, from file is my SFT test.txt, write to the TMP. After we put the password, file has to be uploaded to the server. Now let's check on the server, TMP directory, my star.txt. So you can see, file has to be uploaded. Cut this file, which is uh, this is the Hui test SFTP from Ubuntu server 12345. We cut our original file, my SFTP test. This is the Hui test SFTP from Ubuntu server line 12345. This means our file has been uploaded to the server. This example can also be performed through curve command line. So now let's say on the server, remove this file. This is our file on the server. Now and the client. We remove this SF test txt. IP address 192.168.0.111. There's no .txt files. Now we try download this file from Debian server to our Ubuntu servers. Menu U. Put the password. So now file has been downloaded. At this file. This is the Hui test SAP file from Debian server line 12345. Mm. Let's cut this file from our server. 
Now we modify this file. Now we try upload this to the server. TMP directory. Before we hit enter, we just check if there's no file on the server. Now we enter. The file has been transferred. Now let's check. File has been uploaded onto the server. We cut this file from local. We cut this file from the server. See, this file has been uploaded from the client to this server. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Wish it is useful and it's going to be great to have your feedback.